Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 20 Liverpool career mode. Now before we get into today's episode, I just want to say a huge big thank you for love and support on the channel and as always guys at the start of today's episode, we're quickly going to look at the games that lie ahead. Up first, we take on Aston Villa away from home in the Premier League, then on the last day of the month of September, we take on Napoli in our second game in the group stage of the Champions League. We did play PSV in the previous episode and battered them 6-0, so I'm hoping we can replicate that again against Napoli. And then we move into the month of October, where for the final and simulated game in today's episode, we take on Brighton at Anfield. Very excited for today's episode, but before we get in to today's episode, well, I've got two very important things to do. Number one, my favourite part of the videos, going through the comments that you guys left on the last episode. And the second thing, if you've seen the recent Dortmund career mode episode, that very last game, or more the fact the Liverpool game and the Hertha BSC game, we've got something to discuss over that, which we'll get into in just a moment's time. But as for the comments, first one coming in from Bobby Play saying Man United and Liverpool fire. I'm guessing at this point he was talking about the Liverpool versus Manchester United game in real life. We were at home and we did beat them 2-0. It was a great game and we absolutely bossed Manchester United. They have got no chance. I've seen something about in the last, since like September last year, Manchester United have dropped 56 points, Liverpool have dropped two, which is just an absolute madness. Manchester United are in a real bad rut right now, and us as Liverpool, we're absolutely flying. Next coming, coming in from Hassan saying, is Liverpool going to win the treble? Now I thought, is this in real life? Because we're still in the FA Cup, we're still in the Champions League, and we're on for the Premier League right now. Or does he mean in this career mode? Because again, in this career mode, we've still got the FA Cup, the Premier League, and also the Champions League up for grabs. So, Hassan, if you mean in real life, I think I think we'll win the Premier League this week, or more tonight we play Wolves, and next week we're playing West Ham. We've got two games in one week. Me as a Liverpool fan, if we win both of those games, I will say that almighty sentence, which is Liverpool will win that. Now, lots of Liverpool fans don't want to say it just yet because they don't want to jinx it because last year we had such a good run in the Premier League and it wasn't meant to happen for us. So I'm not going to jinx it yet, but I think if we beat Wolves and beat West Ham, I will happily say it because I don't think there's a team that is going to catch us. As for in the career mode, same sort of thing. It's very early stages. I can't really say whether we're going to win the Premier League. Champions League, again, we're only early doors in the career mode right now when it comes to Champions League. As for in real life, yeah, I'd like to hope we'd at least get all the way to the final. The FA Cup, I'm not sure. Same sort of thing. It can go either way. Gage Whitaker with the next comment saying, your videos are the best. What did you think of the Man United and Liverpool game? Well, I appreciate that you think my videos are the best. That honestly means so much, Gage. So thank you so much. And as for the Liverpool United game, oh, I thought we bossed them. I thought 2-0. It could have been 4 or 5 you know, there was goals disallowed. I thought we absolutely smashed Manchester United. And I'm not sure how Ollie's still got a job. But as a Liverpool fan and all the other fans of the other teams, keep Ollie in. Keep him there because he's doing a great job, isn't he, at Manchester United. Next comment coming in from Hassan again saying, great video, bro. Thank you so much, Hassan. I appreciate that. And the final comment coming in from Haidar Barney saying, great video as well. Thank you, Haidar. I'm glad you enjoyed the episode. But the next thing I want to get on to, ladies and gentlemen... And this is a massive, massive thing. I'll be putting a few things on screen to show you guys. But if you've watched the last episode of the Dortmund career mode, we simulated the game and won, and that was great. We then played Liverpool in the second leg of the Champions League quarterfinals, I do believe. We were 3-1 up, and we lost 1-0. We In the second leg, we lost 1-0, and I didn't think too much of it. And then we come up against a team in the Bundesliga called Hertha BSC. It's the team that Marco Grujic, the Liverpool man, is on current loan at. And we got beat 5-1. So we won a simulated game, but then lost the game we played against Liverpool and lost the game we played to Hertha BSC. And there was nothing, if you haven't watched it, definitely go and give it a watch. There was nothing I could do right in that episode. Nothing at all. I was playing the usual way of play. Try and get in behind the defenders. Try and get like the striker that we've got Marlen in behind. Tie the defenders out. And then get them running through. Marco Royce who's been spectacular for me. And all of a sudden. The team's gone to shambles. I don't feel like I can string a pass together. Every time I try and play a long pass. There's a player sliding in from Hertha. And intercepting the ball. And I said in the episode. It felt like Hertha BSC. Their players had 99 stamina. 99 sprint speed, 99 agility, 99 head, 99 shoot, and 99 shot power because they couldn't put a single thing 
wrong. If we tried to run down the wing, their centre-backs were keeping up with us. Their centre-back scored a volley on the edge of the box. And I just thought, I have no idea what's going on. Now, bear in mind, I recorded this a couple of days ago. Yesterday, I realised that EA have done an update. Of course they have. Of course EA have released an update. Now, I'll go back to the very start. When FIFA first came out, it was too difficult, right? We were all the way on this side of the scale. Too difficult. Teams were going, they were losing, they were drawing. Teams like, you know, Liverpool, Manchester City, Barcelona, Real Madrid were going all season, winning every single game, and there was nothing you could do about it. Vinier fixed it. This was on ultimate difficulty, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Vinier fixed it, and instead of just going to here, you know, they had to go all the way to here, didn't they? So then teams like Liverpool and Barcelona and Real Madrid and City and AC Milan and Inter Milan were getting relegated. So we're here now. Here's the top end of the scale. Here's the bottom end. We're at the bottom now. Teams, good, great, unbelievable teams are getting relegated. And everyone's like, EA, come on. Liverpool, Manchester United, teams like that aren't getting relegated. What's going on? So the recent update, we've had top end. We've had low end. We're expecting somewhere here. Well, let's say this is the top end. EA have took it one step further. Because in the latest patch and the latest update, this is the situation now. And I put a tweet out. I'll also put the update out on screen so you guys can see it. That they've changed the difficulty of Ultimate. And I have been one from the start when the last patch was done that said Ultimate needs to be a little bit more difficult, but not goddamn impossible. EA don't come out and say, we've tweaked it a little bit. Tweaked what? Give the CPU 99 strength, 99 shooting, 99 passing, 99 crossing. You've made it impossible. So I put a tweet out and I'll put the tweet on screen for you guys, basically saying that. I am struggling to win a game. I am really, really finding it difficult. Now, this was after I'd played the Dortmund career mode. I have the Dortmund career mode. I have the Liverpool career mode. I also have my own career mode that I just play for fun. And after I recorded Dortmund and edited the episode, I thought, I'll have a little half an hour go of my career mode. And I couldn't win. I couldn't win. It didn't matter what I've done. I think I played four games. I think I lost like 3-0. 5-2 maybe. I'm struggling to score. I'm conceding like there's no tomorrow. And it's all because EA have done a difficulty patch. They've obviously put out a load of new patches, a load of new fixes, got rid of a load of bugs. And one of them is the ultimate difficulty has been tweaked. So I'm telling you guys this at the start of today's episode because if this Liverpool career mode is anything like the Dortmund career mode and my other career mode that I play for myself, I'm not sure what games we're going to win, whether we're going to score any goals, and if we're even going to drop down the table in today's episode because of this. Now, I've seen people tweet me. I know Lee tweeted me saying, Brad, I put Liverpool in the Irish League. The Irish League. And I still can't win a game. Now, I've tested it before I'm playing this episode with my, my own personal career mode. And I moved the team to second division in Spain. And I still can't win. I still can't win. Now, in this um, personal career mode, I have, like, Mbappe. I have Neymar. I have Suarez. I have a load of great players because I play it for fun. I want to try out different players. And sometimes I buy a player to see what they're like, to see whether I want to buy them in either the Dortmund or Liverpool career mode. It's like a test account, basically. It's for me to just enjoy career mode, test out new features. And with a team with the lowest rating in my squad, and that starting 11 is 84, I couldn't beat a team with the highest rating of 71, which is a massive, massive issue, as you guys can imagine. Now, a lot of you do play career mode, and probably a lot of you, all this, you're listening to it, and you're thinking, Brad's right, that's why I've been losing a load of games, that's why I can't score, it's because EA have released a new patch, I'll put all the patch stuff on the screen for you guys, and I'm not sure what we're then going to win in Season 2 at Liverpool, it's my last season here, I want to win as much as we can, and potentially we lose to Napoli in you know, this is how it's going to be moving forwards. We may not get a chance to go through to the final of the Champions League. We might not get a chance to finish in the top four of the Premier League. And we may not get a shot at doing well in the FA Cup because of this new patch. We can only hope over the next week or two they release a new patch. But EA tends to do it every three to four months. So if this is how it's going to be for three to four months, I'm really going to start not enjoying FIFA. I don't feel like it feels like a FIFA game. It feels clunky. It feels difficult. 
we'll have to see how we get on today's episode. But trust me, ladies and gentlemen, if it's going to be the same in the Liverpool cream mode as it is in my personal, I'm a Dortmund cream mode. I'm just hoping when we go to Villa Park, we can do a decent job. We've got a great squad. We've started off the season spectacular. Mo Salah is in great form. Mane's now back from injury. We also may see today, there was a comment. I can't remember who it was left by, so I apologise. But the comment said, on the first of every month, you've now got a bug. You've got a glitch in your save where on the first of the month, you're going to pick up an injury every month. We'll be able to test that in today's episode because we will be moving into the month of October and we will move past the 1st of October. So let's see whether we do pick up an injury and whether we have that bug or not. Maybe in the latest patch, they've changed that. They've also made the game goddamn impossible on Ultimate. But we have gone with Sadio Mane out on the left wing. Bobby Firmino striker Salah out on the right wing. Gini Wijnaldum linking up with the English captain Jordan Henderson in the central midfield. A little deeper, we've got the Brazilian man Fabinho in the central defensive midfield. And then Robertson, Van Dijk, Gomez and Trent at the back with Alisson between the sticks. I'm not going to say that Aston Villa should be a walk in the park, or a walk in Villa Park, should I say, little pun intended there. But we should really win this game, and the form that we're in, we should be bagging these three points. Come on, Red Men, let's hope this glitch, this patch, this update hasn't screwed us and is going to ruin the rest of these career modes on the channel. It is going to be Wesley for Aston Villa to get us kicked off in this first half period. Let's get it underway, and let's hope we can do something. Put it in there now. Nicely done to Henderson. Henderson looks to ping one over. And Hurricane's going to be all over that one. Here's Trezeguet. Jack Grealish. Three now to Trezeguet. Well intercepted there from Trent. He's going to come back to Wesley. It's 1-0 Villa. Well, I can tell you already. It's glitched. It's patched. It's bugged on here. There's no way Wesley in six minutes is going to score like that. There's just no way. Why doesn't Trent come away with that ball? Aston Villa, look at this. And here goes Dennis. One on one. I'm not going to be able to catch him with Van Dijk. Ball into the middle. Well done, Allison. Get up. Well done, Van Dijk. Great block. Aston Villa playing like prime Barcelona. What is going on? Henderson's wanting Mo Salah to go. Mo Salah doesn't want to make the run for me. He normally does. And all of a sudden, here comes Jorge now. Ball over the top to Trezeguet. Joe Gomez is going to have to come across and try and do something. Ball coming in. Robertson's there. So is Dennis. It's 2 0 Aston Villa. Well, I know they've been working on this all week long, Martin. 2 0 Aston Villa. Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? The way we've been playing. And all of a sudden, EA decided to screw it up for me. Funny enough, the ball ends up back in the feet of Aston Villa. And they're going to get a free kick. I just, I mean, Jorge may as well hit this. The stats that they've all got, the 99 stats, you may as well hit it and end up in the back of the net. And it nearly does. Make sure we win that header. 3 now. Well, I'm glad I warned you at the start of today's episode. 3 0, Aston Villa. I don't think we've had a single chance on goal. 3 0, Aston Villa. And EA think people are going to enjoy this game anymore and enjoy playing career mode. They've ruined it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. EA, you have ruined career mode. You have ruined career mode for us all. Here's Mings. Look how far forward Mings is. Dennis. Dennis, he's like five foot nine. What's going on? Four nil. Four nil. Aston Villa. Dennis, the smallest man on the pitch, probably. Mings, the centre-back, is playing up front. Yeah, you've ruined career mode. You'd already ruined it at the start of FIFA 20. Now you've really ruined it. Look, you can't even pass a simple ball. Come on, Robbo. Here's Gilbert. In now to Dennis. Ball into the middle. Wesley's there. It should have been another goal. It has been a very surprising first half. You're not wrong, commentator. You know why it's been surprising? Because EA have screwed the game. Good job, EA. <laughs> Idiots. 11 shots, 9 on target from Aston Villa at half-time. It's not even the second half. We've only played half the game. And we're already losing 4-0. And look at those stats. We've had more of the ball. It wouldn't feel like it. EA, as a company, I hate you. Hate you. Because you can't simply make a game enjoyable. It's got to be too easy or you've got to ruin it. Here's McGinn. 
McGinn holding Van Dijk off the ball now. Oh, come on, EA. Slide in there, get the ball, Fabinho. He gets the ball and it's a foul. Look at this, this is unbelievable. Ball coming into the middle, Van Dijk's there. It's off the post, get rid of it, Shaqiri. Should be 5-0. It should be like 10-0, to be honest, because we can't get this ball. It's goddamn ridiculous. That's going to be a foul as well. He can't shoot for this angle. More than likely, he's probably going to shoot and he'll end up in the back of the net. Otherwise, he'll chip it in and somebody will get on it. Look at this. Ball in towards the back. Codger's there. Cross the face of goal. And there's Jack Grealish. Oh, it's just too easy. They've, they've maxed out the CPU now. They haven't made it more difficult, more challenging. They've made it goddamn impossible. Close him down. Come on, Henderson. Get on him. Robertson. Ball now going to come in. Is that another goal? It should be. Surprised Allison didn't punch it into his own net. Is McGinn. McGinn's just going to turn everyone like he does. Ball into Kodja. I, I don't even know what to say to you guys. I wouldn't say I'm the world's best FIFA player, but I'd say I'm a goddamn good player. I'm passionate about the game. But how can you be passionate about something that's like this? 6-0 six, six to Aston Villa. Have not enjoyed this at all. Look, if I try and run with Bobby, he's just caught. He's just caught. You can't do nothing. Yeah, you've gone from me loving the game about 80%, disappointed 20%, to 100% hating the game. You're ruining career mode for all the career mode creators out there because nobody is going to want to play this absolute shocker of a game. 6 0. We managed two shots, two on target. Aston Villa. At home against Liverpool, the champions of the world, the champions of Europe, the potential Premier League champions this year, and they're having 18 shots, 14 on target. Our best player was Andy Robbo on a 7.1. When is ever a Liverpool player in the season and a bit that I've been doing the FIFA 20 Liverpool career mode ever got 7.1 as the highest rating in the team? The disappointment is real. And probably by this point, if you guys have seen the videos not very long, it's because I'm going to do this post-match interview and we're going to sit down and have a serious talk now. Because I am not playing like this, game after game and losing. 5, 6, 7, 8, nil. How am I going to be passionate about that? It's not all about winning, but I'm not getting tonked 6 nil every game. 18 shots, 14 on target. Yay! You've tweaked it and made it more realistic. Realistic Aston Villa. When would Aston Villa ever have 18 shots with 14 on target? Jog on EA. So I've had a couple minutes to myself. I've done the player training. I've advanced to the next game against Napoli. And I've tried to stay positive and think on the bright side. But after losing 6 0 to Aston Villa, and after, you know, when I looked at Dortmund career mode, I lost 1 0 to Liverpool. That wasn't too bad. I must have played real good football to only lose 1 0. But then lose 5 1 to Hertha BSC. 6 0 on the Liverpool Cream mode to Aston Villa. If I play the Napoli game, probably going to lose 8 0. EA, what, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Are you, are you thinking let's ruin career mode and get everyone on Ultimate Team so you can make even more money? EA, you're a selfish, selfish company. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands and millions and hundreds of thousands of people buy a copy of FIFA for career mode. And you don't care about it. You don't. That's why you'll screw us up and watch big teams get relegated. Then you'll screw us the other way. Instead of beating someone in the middle, you'll screw us the other way. Now we're getting beat by Aston Villa. You're getting beat by like Tramia Rovers 10-0. Why, eh? Why, why, why? That is the question of today's episode. Because I hate to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not playing any more games in today's episode. I'm not working hard to create content just for the sake of it i create content because i love what i do i love playing fifa i'm passionate about it and i make content for you guys right now 
I'm only making content for you guys. The other two things don't come close. Why am I going to enjoy making content for you guys where three games an episode, we're going to lose 6-0, 4-0 and 10-0. We're never going to win anything. We're not going to enjoy it. It's going to become boring. You guys are going to tune in and go, oh, Brad's got Napoli, Aston Villa and Brighton. There's three losses under the belt. There's no surprise. There's no games where we're 2-0 up like we were against Leeds for the first game of the season and they pull it back to 2-2 and then we push on for 4-2. Leeds would beat us now 50-0. Their keeper would score a hat-trick. I don't know what EA expected, but it just feels like they've given the CPU, the computer, stats of 99 everything. As far as I'm concerned, EA, you've, you've ruined career mode. You have ruined career mode, so... Um, I'm not going to play something that I, I don't enjoy. I did enjoy career mode. And after that one game against uh, Hertha BSC in the Dortmund career mode, getting beat 5-1, and I'm like, something's wrong here. I was saying in that episode, the game's broke, something's not right, something doesn't feel right. I don't even feel like I'm playing FIFA. It's impossible for me to do anything right. Lo and behold, two days later, EA come out and say there's been a update and patch. Yes, EA, yes, there has, and you've ruined the game. You've ruined it for all of us career mode creators, career mode players, people who just enjoy socially playing career mode. You've ruined it for us all. So, I am not going to sit here, ladies and gentlemen, and bore you guys with getting beat 10 0 by Napoli and then simulate a game and lose 7 0 to Brighton. I'm just not going to bore you with that. Um, yes, I was one of the people that wanted it more difficult. There was a lot of people that wanted ultimate more difficult because it's meant to be ultimate. Not impossibly, eh? Ultimate. A bit harder than what's under ultimate. People said it felt the same. Go a little bit harder. You turn ultimate into impossible. You should call this difficulty in goddamn possible. Because I just I don't understand what you want us to do. It's a mess. You've ruined it. And the problem is, is it's probably going to be like this for two or three months till they release the next patch where it goes back the other way and you'll probably find it too easy and I'll probably beat Aston Villa 17-0 because they just cannot find the right balance. They can't fix games. They release them, the unfinished, the bugs. EA, screw you. Screw you. I'm not sitting here now playing another two games, boring you guys with losses, getting frustrated. It's not worth it. It'll ruin my mood. You guys won't enjoy the video because you'll be sat there like, this isn't Brad. He's getting frustrated and yes i do get frustrated because i'm passionate about a game but frustration something else in this game right now 6-0 to aston villa i don't know how anyone wants me to sit there and play games and lose 6-0 so um i don't want to give up and i don't want to say right until the next patch comes out which could be in a week's time but normally it's a few months time i'm not going to upload career mode till then because that's just not me so what i'm going to put to you guys um I'll put it in the comment section. You just comment on my comment. The comment is probably going to say something along the lines of this. Guys, do you want me to drop down from Ultimate to Legendary? Legendary is the one that... Do you want me to drop down from Ultimate to Legendary? Or do you want me to just not play at all until Ultimate gets fixed? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not saving this. I'm not saving with a 6-0 loss to Aston Villa. So, I've done this short video for you guys. You've just watched highlights and seen how terrible now the game is. I know a few of you have been telling me the game is literally impossible and ultimate. So, that's the option for you guys. Do you want me to, A, come down from ultimate to legendary and hopefully we'll find it a little bit more easier, but still a challenge, because that ain't a challenge, that is impossible. Or, do you want me to just stop uploading career mode until, I'll still upload other stuff, I might upload... Um, do you know what? I don't even know what I'd upload. I was going to say Call of Duty, but I'd probably want to do something FIFA related. We've got the Pro Clubs team coming soon, but I won't be able to make videos three times a week on it. The option is, is I just wait and see it out for a week or two and keep tweeting EA saying, fix your goddamn game. And we just hope that soon it gets fixed rather than later. And we're not waiting months while it's like this. Or do we just drop down from Ultimate to Legendary and try again? You guys let me know what you'd like me to do on my comment that I've put in the comment section. Realistically, for me, I'm not saving it. I'm not counting that Aston Villa game. So if we come back and you guys have decided on this episode you want me to drop down from Ultimate to Legendary, then I will play the Aston Villa game again. I'll play the Napoli game, and then we'll simulate the Brighton game in the next episode. But 
I'm sure you guys are probably frustrated if you play career mode. I'm super frustrated, so I can only apologise, ladies and gentlemen. I am not playing any more FIFA on ultimate difficulty if it's going to be like this. It's just one of them. I'm not a sore loser. I don't mind losing 1-0, 2-0, but the issue I have is I just lost 6-0. It's unrealistic. They had 14 shots on target, 17 shots or something stupid like that. Aston Villa are never having that many shots. Who are you kidding me, eh? You, you, the game was broke. Now you've really ruined it. A company with so much money and they can't make a game enjoyable for the people that buy it. They don't listen to us. They don't care about us. And now look how many people are going to fall out of love with career mode. If it stays like that for months, I will certainly be one of them. And it's very disappointing because I've enjoyed career mode for years and years and years and years and years. I've played career mode since it first come out on FIFA. And now look at the state of it. It's ruined. I can only apologise to you guys. And hopefully, you know, we'll drop down to Legendary or we'll wait for the new patch to come out. But if you do play FIFA, you'll understand you cannot play something like that. If people are moving top teams like Liverpool to different leagues and I move my team to a different league and I still can't win. If you with you know, overall team lowest rating and the team of 84 can't beat a load of 60 to 70 overall players, what are you meant to do? It's not enjoyable. It's enjoyable when I win games, lose games and draw games. I know from playing two games now, one in the Dortmund career mode, one in the Liverpool career mode, I am not going to draw or win a single game. It is going to be loss after loss after loss. And I am not going to sit here and put myself through that. I'm certainly not going to put you guys through it. So I can only apologise, ladies and gentlemen. If you've got Twitter, Instagram, whatever you've got, Facebook, go and speak. Go and tweet EA. Go and message them and tell them career mode is terrible you've ruined it but that is going to do it unfortunately for today's episode ladies and gentlemen if you have enjoyed it please do give it a big thumbs up for me don't forget to drop your comments down below if you're new around here click that subscribe button don't forget to share this video with your friends and family and i've been massive brad peace out